So in this video, uh, I got the idea because uh, of a friend. He wrote me in Steam that I should react on the reaction videos to give it that special ironic uh, touch. And I think I'm gonna do that now. It might be the best shit ever, you know. Loading that shit up. Reacting to... That we should we should start at the bottom line of cancer itself. Just minimize that shit. You don't want to see me thrice or four times. Um, fine, bros. Let's just use this one. Okay. Let's maximize that shit. It's JJ Fish. I'm your biggest fan. Mm. No. Oh man, they got Tony Hawk for this one. This isn't a porn, right? This is All due respect, I love Ice JJ sound. What am I listening to? He's got some mad singing skills. They act like it's funny, but deep inside their hearts they know he got the sound. Like these torturing all these, cats. all these this haters. Like a dead chicken caught in a fan. They don't know what they're saying. Like a, they don't know how to act. It's like a thing that they're invested in. It's just uh, their jelliness. It's the best song ever. He's oh, amazing. amazing. I want him to be my can, best friend. Can you hate him? Huh? That girl is way too hot. Yeah. The entire video budget was get That's a girl with huge boobs. I can you hate this guy? Oh. Almost cuts with all these celebrities. Now I get the concept how they got these clips. They just invite famous people, I think. I think so. Like JJ Fish is the Just the name. I think at a certain Wait, degree you can just get... Did he just own backup vocals? Every... Because no one else can warble like him. Every celebrity... And uh, do this shit. Is he dancing? Kinda interesting. No. Is this the, the forest where like you murdered her? I mean, this is all evidence, right? This I'm is kind all of evidence. interested how long it takes to, to get the copyright claim. So. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, oh, she's dancing. Great, love that. I feel like this, I'm like, uh, doing something wrong, but like this the, is somebody's private video, and I'm like, I shouldn't be watching it. Please tell me this is a joke. Apple, <laughs> Come on, so. you have to be. Jo he's got to be joking. A friend hug at the channel, end. And I know. A friend hug. Dude just got friend zoned right still, in the end. Uh, what is that? Why? Still updates the ship. Where did you find that? And, uh, I like it. Holy sh! So. so do you think this guy is a good Honestly, singer? Just, I would say taste. he's a specific just type of singer. Apple. Even think auto tune would be like, I don't know what the f to do with this. It takes talent to be that bad, I think. So we have some lyrics for you. Yes. Can you give us an impersonation? That's what he's saying? Oh, I think I'm a little off. That's oh, wait. the funny part where they impersonate There it is. Like he does. And everybody impersonates him. I'm not the type of guy let you know. It's when I do, when I let it go. So baby girl, let's do this through the flu. It's not about forcing yourself onto a woman. This is why I was uncomfortable because this is the stuff that could get you kicked out of a workplace. I don't think he's trying to make a good song. I think he's doing this on purpose. You watch something like that and you go, yeah, he's I kidding, right? And then you're like, I don't think so. Some purpose. people think this guy is trolling and trying to get a reaction. Do you yourself have to deal with being trolled online? Yeah, but he's like, I have a lot of people that are idea. trolling online. That's fake. Your hair's fake. People say that when I smile, I look like Renee Zellweger. <laughs> I don't call them trolls. I just call them my fans. It's just a part of life. And it sucks because I have younger kids they don't really understand that, and sometimes there's stuff that's directed towards them. I love going through comments. I love responding to comments. I love when people come up with clever, funny stuff to say. And so I more just pay attention to that. Can you just facts. ignore them? Or it's respond, just, but then, the, then that's stuff I've learned. At facts. first I kind of tried to engage, 
with them, figure out why they were the saying they so were. I like to engage them. them. And then a lot of times, if they're not really crazy, the growth they'll be like, I'm so sorry, I was just in a bad mood, I didn't mean it. The only way you can go away is to is just ignore them. It's some sort of like weird Hogwartsian magic of like, if you ignore them, Harry, they cannot tell you that uh, your that they f***ed your mother. So back to the video, it has over 25 million views. <laughs> He's gonna get laid on the daily. God damn it! Are you f***ing kidding me? That is the most, god damn it! That makes me so mad! I've done the host equivalent of this music video, and I didn't get 20 million views for that. I just got slapped by the dick of Hollywood in the face. Oh man, oh sh What do you think it would have been like for your career the if the internet was as big as it is now when you were starting out? Oh, I'm so glad YouTube didn't exist when I was growing up skating in the 80s as a teenager. Styles and fashion, like, oh. Thank God the internet wasn't around back when I was newly famous in 21, because I would have said and done some stupid stuff, man. I probably wouldn't be here today. I had the Let's opportunity to kind of dive in and do very we'll similar stuff that people are the doing on the internet now. Stuff. But I got a chance to do it on television. Well, it so work. the stuff I was doing, That's you know, 15 you years ago, probably wouldn't be that special today because everybody's doing it. So finally, What's if Ice JJ this, Fish ended up watching this, bling bling what would be your advice chain. for his singing career? I don't have any advice because he's clearly he smarter than David I am. Bass. I would say Doesn't let's work you on your vocals. Diction. Something like neck Diction is very stuff. important. Collaborate. Hey, CJ Fish, let's do a video. Yo, we can get in the studio. You make bad music, I make bad music. It's gonna be amazing. This is a collaboration music. together and, and we'll go double sides. cardboard. Hey, Kate. Jake Davidson here in so they collect a bunch of inviting you to my senior prom on May 23rd. Wait, 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 wait. Hear me out. Hear me Isn't this a problem in itself? It's just so adorable. I thought they would. Five nine on a really good day, and I can't dance. You're oh, crazy. Viral videos in general. Ten. And that so they do the it's first chance. This is all the category. He doesn't like to shame. You could say this is destiny. Now, Kate. Trying to get with Kate Upton, right? Oh, this kid is so cute. You're on the cover of Sports Illustrated. I read Sports Illustrated. <laughs> great moments are born from great opportunity. And that is what you have here today. This kid's going Chance places. To make a nice guy senior year the best ever. Mr. Davidson? Thank you. Oh. Kate, we can ride around all night long. Till 11. That's my curfew. <laughs> but really, it would mean the world to me if you came. Oh, and I, I you're a privileged little guy. I okay. wouldn't say yes. Thank you. <laughs> so, Kate. You would like to get a nage? Will you go to prom with me? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's skywriting. Couldn't afford the real thing. Did she go? I love I that. That, that was, was adorable. Real. What a little put on. Sweet. A little creepy. But so sweet. This kid has such huge balls. Why didn't he just go on the porn side? Doesn't so make sense in the, in the first video. place. So this yeah. guy was proposing to Kate Upton. Very creative. I mean, that took him like three days. Even if she goes, end of the night, it's just a PR stunt for her. She's not gonna f you. So Kate Upton actually responded to him. Saying? She said, I'm so flattered, but due to prior commitments, I cannot go. It's bullshit. That's whack, Kate. If she would have gone, people would have been like, oh, she's so thirsty, she just wanted a press story. And then if she didn't go, then people all are like, oh, she just can't be bothered, and she's like very selfish. And I think either way, you're gonna have haters, either way, you're gonna have trolls. But due to the attention this That's video a got, point. a different supermodel well, I can't Nina disagree Ando with that, ended up going. But I don't even know who Kate up is, right I what? think. Oh, some that's kind cool. Of it's like a model exchange know. program. You didn't get Kate, okay. you go. He still did better than he would have oh, done. Oh, yeah, no, I, I remember. You know, without the video. That kid's a legend. Stuff. Why do people like to ask celebrities to the prom? Imagine if you're in high school and you show up to your prom mm -hmm. with a supermodel. That's the way to end the school year. Because it works. It works. This guy struck out with Kate Upton and got Nina. This is a time in our lives where She's everybody is so um, attainable well, with social media and statistic. things like YouTube. But then again, she the got tits. I ain't got like tits. I got only man tits. You so. know the celebrities the more than you actually do. When I was a kid, you couldn't do anything that was going to garner any sort of attention, especially national or international attention. It's the same reason that someone takes a picture in front of the Empire State Building or 
in front of the Eiffel Tower. It's saying, okay, this is something that millions of people have seen and they know of, and I am rushing shoulders with it. What's your perspective being in the public eye when there's this fad of people trying to ask celebrities to go do something? I think it's some great. I think it's, I think it's fantastic. Celebrities are just f***ing people. They're, they're human beings. They're not weird super beings that have to come down from some uh, sacred fig tree. It's cool that they get uh, that opportunity. You know, I would agree with you, to. but then again, but there's the other side of that is don't aspire you know, to celebrity. I had no intention of getting famous or rich from up, skateboarding, can, and it just I sort of happened. And I was like, Whoa, What's up weird. with this no, uh, John you know, I wasn't clamoring like to be famous. Instagram and if that's all you want is to be famous, it's gonna suck. So what would happen if someone made a video asking you to prom? Give me a sob story, and I will go. Actually, but it better be real, because I'm a journalist, say, and I will sniff your sh out. If I was asked to the prom in this elaborate way, it's not about getting the timing was right, famous my wife was cool with it, why not? I think I would get arrested more because I'm well over the age of 18. Getting if you tweeted a celebrity, so you the first thing, the if they're anything like me, go to that person's timeline and see if they're tweeting shit, everybody. It's like, you oh, they wanted me or say Hulk Hogan. Kind of so if you really want know, me, I'm like a woman, I'm not a want me. It has happened. I've actually been invited to um, a couple proms, some birthday parties. I was like a prom date for hire. If you lived in the state of Connecticut, and your long-term boyfriend broke up with you like a week before the prom, I was your go-to. I went to like six girls' prom. It would be somebody be like, hey, m my daughter's a fan and she wants you to go to her prom. Back then, the mom was the prom proposal. Finally, back when you were prom age, so, who was the celebrity crush at the time that you would have asked silly. the prom? Peter, Dink Peter Dinklage is amazing. I would ask Peter Dinklage to prom now. Molly Ringwald. I would go Will Smith. Who, who would be more fun? Jimmy Fallon. <sighs> Soggy I had a very big crush, like senior year, on uh, Adam Young from Owl City. Oh, Tony Katan. That would be White that Snake. Would be Paula Abdul. I would have said, would like stop dating that cartoon cat, DJ's cat cat. Alan Aldo, where are you at? That or like Donald Sutherland or something. Scat Many of the old guys. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah Carey. I would have did a prom proposal video to my Seriously, wife. Man. I actually he, technically did. He has I did like a, a wedding neck <laughs> injury. So I can tell. Every time you I can see it behind the neck, but I, I love Mariah Carey. She's I suspect solid, there's some heavy shit going on his man on uh, <gasps> spine. Cute. I think how the comments Milk are moving. I already know it's gonna be good. It's a Japanese commercial. But that's what you want to see. Hmm? <laughs> no, I've seen this one before. Uh, oh. Wait, what's what? Cool they can do this on TV? He's hand coming into a ramen. Oh, it's pee and poop. The classic combo. Why does it gotta be so creepy? I love Japan. That's a that's a that's awesome. a video. I know I've seen some. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about. I've oh my some god, I would uh, die! <laughs> this is amazing! I have had this dream. That would be the greatest thing ever! That was the best commercial I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Too many chromosomes, man. What am I looking at? <laughs> Don't make, don't make fun of bald handicapped people. It. That is really upsetting. <laughs> that is really upsetting to me. God damn it! Like an alien escape what? from what a spacecraft. That, what was thing. that for? <laughs> oh, there's more. Oh, f fuck me. Huh? You got like what? all this water what in his head. What the? What? Oh, <laughs> stop! Oh my god. That is so gross. Hashtag unexpected boner. Anochi should be nowhere near kids. What what's this commercial about? That that would be kinda interesting. Anochi. What is this? Uh sorry, sorry. Okay. I'm all listening to other That's a trailer. Well, didn't think about that. Struggling with terminal cancer, then you see mainly the spawner. You can can just get some references about that. I don't know, maybe the side effects of getting cancer is uh, having unexpected boners. That might be a possibility, but other than that, this is quite old. Yeah, okay. Commercials be banned from all television. I don't like that dog. 
Compliment. Alluring pose. <laughs> that would scare the hell out of you. That's not even sort of a real dog. None of those are. <laughs> this is my He's intelligent enough to I run two legs and get shit. He, he buys for this boy stuff, but. But the he way won't he's escape, you know? He could, he could have escaped. Oh good, he goes after the little girls too. No, don't. What are you doing? Can you imagine like coming across this while they're shooting it? Can you... He was just abducted. <laughs> he, he tries to make those kids oh, crazy. Chips. That's his idea. Are these That's his chips or chips for oh, him? Well. First. He does this hey, crazy shit, awesome. but so after that he wants the I'm kids on next, to die I'm just because of uh, obesity. A lot of Japanese Possibly culture falls it. into two categories, Thank horrifying and f***able. The dog is f***able. <laughs> so we're going to talk about know. each of these Japanese commercials Seems like one tries to be First was the milk fine. seafood noodle. Yeah, I remember. They're supposed to represent cheese and pepper. No, his head is a, is a, is a rook piece for chess. The other guy is from like Invader Zim. The pepper looks like a turd. The other dude just looks like poop. No one on the set said, you know, pepper looks like sh Would you eat that? Hell no. I no, I wouldn't. See the, it's like a three time vegan the, offense. But, but and I'm vegan good. this week. It actually the sounds really good. It especially if those unclear. guys would come and fire it off into, if they'd rub one out into my noodles. Next was the gum commercial with the cat and the man. Did that make any sense? No, but it, it, it definitely, I would go out and buy that gum. Makes about as much sense as anything else that it does. <laughs> that one made the most sense out of all of them, and that's crazy to say because it didn't make any sense. It doesn't translate culturally, but I also assume mm. that if someone from Japan saw our five gum no, commercials, watched, uh, they would be very confused. We have those the other day. commercials. Mm -hmm. we'll that's exactly. Those are our Japanese commercials. And then there was Anochi, directed oh by Quentin Dupont. Super Dupont. creeper. Oh, he and, looks uh, like the dude from the, and the it's first very scenes. Uh, his the main shape, character just like this. He's explains. adorable. That and a lot of it, things but he's like a sexual predator. Sense. That one was and like so, way over. Since that, I would what say was the commercial for? Those were commercials for an art exhibit featuring oh. that creature. Art? That's not gonna make me go to the art show. Oh my god, that's really weird. I would like to see that art show though. What? So I, 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 if there are no erections. Whenever you talk about advertising, so, you're like, I think it's stupid. Yeah, Someone it's will always be like, but here we are talking about it. I hate to agree said with that, it's about idiot, a movie. but I they get we were talking about it. They Finally, get the, the commercial is featuring the dog. That dog, I couldn't decide whether that dog was creepy or cute. The dog was the most awesome dog. Where can I get this dog? It made no sense. Again, none of these make sense. None of these are actually selling the products. If you were a kid and this dog appeared to you offering That's chips, how, how would what do you think you would have done? I would have ran. It wouldn't make any sense. Scream. What I do is I repress that memory. The more confused And years gets, later when you know, I'm doing an interview, I remember strange the... colors, views, angles. I just remembered some really bad stuff, stuff that happened. Now I know why the I don't like gold. Would, would you be down to star in a Japanese commercial? Absolutely. As long as the note she's not in it. I would be down for the cat one. I mean, it's a giant cat. If that cat was walking around the studio right now, come on, we would all be, well, we'd be freaked out, let's be honest. Not just one, give me several. I would, Bring the, I would the, the poopy pepper uh, head guy. The dude with the chubby. And and like, we could all start a boy band. And you can bring this, JJ Fish in to do the remix. Hey guys, thanks for watching this special episode of React. There's a lot of buttons flashing at you right now. It'd be really nice if you pressed on well, all of them and then subscribe to all of our channels because we're nice and we like you. We'd never lead you astray. Please, we need you to like us. That's how we judge ourselves based on your button pushing. Bye, everybody. Thanks for including me. However, people say goodbye on YouTube. Till next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope I didn't offend anyone. You Please. Me. It happens a lot. Actually, I can see that this format is really good and all that shit. I won't like this shit, but I won't dislike it either. But I think it's quite funny to say that uh, they want to sue people for that. You know, that was the final straw. That was just the, the final straw. Why would you why would you even do that, man? Copyright words. Didn't, uh, what was the other day? Candy Crush, yeah, they tried also some uh, copyright shit with Candy Crush and you know there were some other games before that had the same uh, concept like Candy Crush and uh, like it's with this reaction shit that is going on 
and he he productions explained in one video uh, Bill Cosby did that a long time ago it might be even you know some time back ago and you when you look even some years back ago there might be even more proof to see that there were reaction videos in the 1950s maybe I don't know just get some facts or some info about that and then you would see it that's it for today now